Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Cher and I thought I would bring you along because I have a huge bucket full of empties. Everything that I've used this spring season, I'd say over the last two, two and a half months, probably about two and a half months. Um, I like to do a little empties video pretty much every quarter because I feel like that's how long it takes for a lot of goodies to build up. So I have a good bit to really go through with you. I figured I would walk you through, do a little speed review on everything, a very quick review, letting you know whether I will toss or repurchase in the future. So if that interests you, make sure you pop that subscribe button because I love to do things like this all the time. Beauty product reviews, spoilers and beauty boxes and unboxings and shopping hauls and lots of fun stuff. So make sure you stick around my channel if you like that stuff. Turn the notification bells to on and we are gonna go ahead and dig in. Summer is almost here, so you can hear the thunder in the background, probably. Um, we get thunderstorms like almost every afternoon in the summer, and it's approaching. So I'm kind of wrapping up spring here, and we're going to go through and do empties. I'm not going in any order. I'm just going to pull out of the bucket whatever I can find. I've done a little bit better job of making sure that I kept track of everything. So uh, what do we start with first? I'm going to grab this little box here. This is by Maddie Coase, Supreme Caviar Patches. I got these a long time ago and I decided, you know what, I need to use the rest of them. Um, so they're little eye patches that go like right under here. When I first got these, I loved them, but it was because it was some of the first eye gel thingies I've ever tried before. But as I was wrapping them up, I changed my mind and I was like, I don't really know guys. I, they were very drying. They almost hurt. And I don't know if it's because they're just getting older and maybe they're more dried out. These are actually forehead patches too. So you look kind of like Batman in them. You wear one leg right up here and then the other under here, they're black. They're supposedly made with caviar. Um, but I will probably not repurchase just because I can't remember if, you know, it could just be that they're old now and so they hurt more at the end, but they were definitely drying me out. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab these lashes. I went through them all, so I am a professional makeup artist too. So I'm also gonna, I'm throwing in here empties from my makeup kit, things I use on clients, as well as personal use items. So this was for clients. These are the Kiss Lashes Little Black Dress. I wish, since they're empty, I can't show you what they look like. Maybe I'll try to find screen of them but these are very popular with my clients whenever they want a little bit glam but not like over the top glam these are the ones they want these are like one of my most popular like full lash lashes um and so I went through all of those so I will definitely repurchase again and similarly um more lashes these are for clients as well these are the Ardell 420s as you see there's one left I think I probably cut one wrong or had to reapply one lash on somebody or something. I don't know. And I can't do much with just one lash. So, I mean, I guess I could keep it for one lash. Nah. <laughs> so anyway, the 420s, I use these very often. These are my most mild ones usually. Um, so all the people that are kind of shy about lashes, the ones I usually have to convince to wear lashes. And we go with these that are like super mild so they don't get too scared. <laughs> so I will be absolutely repurchasing those. Next we have the Sanatorium Foot Peel Mask. I have an entire video on this where I did the review, so I'd use that last one. You can go check that out. Um, will I repurchase or not? Eh, I mean, maybe if I want to do another foot peel at some point. Um, definitely check that video out. I'll link it here for you though, because you want to like do it like three weeks in advance. Oh, this is the little baggie that was inside there that the mask was inside of. Um, next, shampoo. Um, I think in my last video, I had talked about how I had a biotin shampoo that I absolutely loved and then I couldn't find it again. It wasn't restocked on Amazon and it was by Essencia. So I had to, I looked for something that would replace it and I was just, I just randomly grabbed this off of Amazon too. And it's a biotin shampoo from Maple Holistics. And I liked it a lot. It worked pretty well. I think I still like the Essencia a little bit better, but this did work as a biotin shampoo. So I will probably repurchase it. I did get some other shampoo for now though. So I won't be doing it at the moment, but maybe down the line I will. Next we have Murad Retinol um, uh, Youth 
Renewal Eye Serum. And I just used the very last of this last night. As a matter of fact, I was like, oh, look at there. Let me pop it in my empties video. Um, this was good stuff. I think I got it gifted in a BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm like Lux or something. And I've been using it pretty religiously and I really like it. I would definitely repurchase it again. Okay, so I was talking about that Essencia Biotin shampoo. Here is the conditioner. So I went through the conditioner for it. I think, is there more conditioner out there? I think so. See, I don't go through conditioner as fast as I go through shampoo, you know? So anyway, I just used the last of the conditioner, but it's the shampoo I am especially interested in. So I really want it to restock. Um, okay, Velour Magnetic Lashes. So I tried these out. I think I want them in a giveaway. Um... I am not a fan of magnetic lashes at all. I don't usually like them much, but I decided I would try these. I didn't like them at all. Um, and since they're used, I'm just gonna toss them and say empties. I didn't like the, uh, I should take the mascara. I mean, the liner glue out though, but to be honest, like I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna toss the whole thing. Since, like, I, I tried it, I'm going to consider it empty. I did not like it. I, but I don't like, I don't tend to like um, magnetic lashes anyway. Next, we have Essence Lash Princess. Y'all know this is my Ride or Die mascara, and I use it for clients in my makeup kit. So I use the regular mascara usually for me, and then I use the waterproof for my clients. It is definitely empty out of my makeup kit, so I had to buy another one to restock it. Um... Let's see, I tried a mask. I think this was maybe in like, maybe in my Allure box. I don't remember which one, but any, oh, maybe it was a BoxyCharm. Sweet Chef Beet and Retinol Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask. I liked it pretty good. It was pretty hydrating. So, you know, it was good. Um, I can't remember how much it cost. I don't like to spend a huge amount on sheet masks. So if it was a decent price, I can't remember. I would definitely buy it again. It is biodegradable as well. So I like that. And then y'all know that I always use hair dye. Uh, once a month, I dye my hair. Sometimes every three weeks, if I like, look, you can see the gray's coming back. I haven't even bothered to touch it up today for my video. <laughs> um, but this is usually, this is always the brand that I use. I love this one. It's just store-bought drugstore um, hair dye. I won't go into everything, but it's like, I don't go to the salon to dye my hair because I have to dye my hair so often. And I actually have two boxes. Both of them are the Intense Cocoa 4.6. So I had dyed my hair twice since the last time I talked to you. And it's about to be time for a third time in maybe a week or two. Okay. Um, I actually have a candle too that I included. This is my absolute favorite, favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. I love, love, love the stress relief. It's got eucalyptus and spearmint. Anything with those smells in it are just my favorite for like stress relief. Okay, um, Neutrogena wipes. There is a wipe left in there, but it's all dried out, so I'm not going to use it. So I consider this empty. And then, and what I repurchase? Yeah, I do from time to time. This is my Magic Root Cover Touch Up. I usually go through at least one of these, but I did get that little Timu um, hair coloring that looks like a lipstick I've done before and shown you guys. And so since I've been using that, I haven't had to buy as many of these or the little side ones. I don't know if I have one of those empties or not, but anyway, um, but I did go through the last of this one at least. <laughs> so yeah, in addition to a box, I have to do uh, the cover up spray as well. Okay, and then the Tarte Shape Tape. I love Tarte Shape Tape. It's one of my favorites. This is my personal. I use it both on clients and on myself. I use all different concealers for clients, but this is one of them. Um, but this is my personal one for me, and I'm really bummed because it really is probably my favorite concealer out there, like, of all time. So, I'm always bummed when I use up the rest of it. I don't like using it up. Okay. And then, um, I had been trying this Sephora prebiotic. Yeah. Prebiotic, um, nourishing moisturizer. This is really good stuff, guys. I got it in an allure box also, and it was so small. I decided I'm going to try it next and kind of empty it out. And I have been really impressed. So I really like it and I would definitely repurchase that. Okay. And then this is the inky list hyaluronic acid. I noticed that I, it's actually a serum. I had accidentally included it in my um, 
declutter video, the first declutter video I did and included it as like a cream or moisturizer. I got confused. This is not a cream or moisturizer. It is a serum. And since there was like two drops left of it, I kept it and like used it up. And so now it's gone. So that is an empty tube. I also just used the very last of my Arbonne CC cream. Um, this is a uh, kind of like foundation, but it's color correcting. Such good stuff. And I just finished the rest of it this morning. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna throw that in the empties also. But this is like my favorite CC cream. Um, just good for like when I'm not doing a full, full coverage, but it is pretty full coverage in itself for a CC cream. It's amazing stuff. So love this stuff. Definitely repurchase. <laughs> um, okay. Evolve leave-in conditioner. This has become my favorite leave-in conditioner. I think I used to love the Miracle 10, um, that I'm using right now until I use it up, but this has replaced it. I love this stuff and it was gifted to me. So they gave me their whole like little travel set to try. And I think I used the whole travel set up with all these trips that I was on. So we have the leave, uh, sorry, the leave-in conditioner. We have the Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo and the Ultra Shine Moisture Conditioner. So I did end up using all three of them on this trip. You know what? This feels like there's a little left, but it's not spraying. Oh, I might leave that out and get the last couple little drops out of it. I thought it was gone, but it's like I can feel a little bit left in there. So if I really spray it, I might get just a teeny bit more out. I don't like wasting, guys. <laughs> you can actually see my Miracle 10 back there. That's what I've been using right now to replace it. Oh, hold on. Okay. Next, we have the Mayless, Mayless Be Poised. This is like a neck firming cream. Absolutely empty. I lose, used every drop of it. Such good stuff. I love it. I also have their booty cream and their chest cream. So I'm using those, um, but I use this the most because I always forget, I, I tend to forget body wash stuff more than the face. Like I'm very serious about my face. So I use like the next stuff pretty quickly, but so good. It's so firming, really good. I love this whole brand, the whole line. And I just think they have the cutest, most clever titles. Isn't that adorable? And my, um, my booty cream is called Be Thick. Isn't that exciting? so cute. Okay, next we have a plant-based makeup remover balm. Um, this is from, I think it was called Aura, Aura Herbals, something like that. And it's like a very like natural brand and clean brand, which I, I typically love that. I love natural and clean. I do prioritize that over all the others. And like vegan and all of that is what this is. It's plant-based. The only thing I'd say about this is it was almost like just putting straight up coconut oil on your eyes is really what I think this stuff was. It, there was probably some like essential oils in it, which I like that too, but it's like I could completely make this myself. I could just go um, mix up a concoction of coconut oil and my essential oils and have me a makeup remover balm myself without paying. And it just doesn't, it looks homemade, right? But this is from a brand that you buy from and they gifted this to me, you know, so that'd be my only thing is like the packaging and the, you know, uh, so it's like, I mean, it was good. It was okay. But I think that it's exactly like putting straight up coconut oil on your eyes to remove your makeup. So instead of going and buying this, just go get coconut oil, <laughs> a little essential oil. Like that's my opinion about that one. So no, I would probably not repurchase. Um, they did give me a ta tattoo salve stuff. That's really good. But this one in particular, eh. Okay, next I have Benefit Brows. This is more like their travel size, so I used it up really quickly, and it was their brow pencil. Um, 3.5 is the shade that I use. This was my personal, no, this was out of my makeup kit. Yeah, it was in my makeup kit, and I think I had bought like travel sizes, so I didn't have to pay as much, but then I still ended up running through it. So I love the Benefit Brow Pencil. That's honestly probably my favorite brow pencil. And similarly, this was from my makeup kit as well. I've talked about this before, Instant Age Rewind Corrector. This was the shade 120. This is my most popular shade. I have to restock this often, and I also wear it myself. This is my shade too. But this today, I think I had my personal one on the last empties video, but then today, this is the, the one from, for my makeup clients in this video. All right. Next was this shaving gel I got in my Walmart beauty box, completely bare, hair removal, um, it's a moisturizing shave gel. I don't know. 
eh, I don't think it was that special. I think it was not that much better than my soap, to be honest with you, but, um, you know. <laughs> okay, this was Camu avoca Avocado Hydrating Repair Leave-In Conditioner. Also got that, I think, in my Walmart beauty box as, like, a sample. Absolutely thumbs down. Horrible. Made my hair so, like, oily and greasy and just, ugh, no, 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 no. Not good stuff. Would not recommend um, this is Arbon. This is for my, um, makeup kit as well. I've gone through it. This is my most, most, most popular shade of all, Soft Blush. I just seem to have a lot of very pale, cool tone clients. I guess there, this isn't the most cool toned pale shade, but it's like pretty close. It's close to my shade, but slightly lighter and more of my cool tone girls. And I just seem to get those girls all the time. I don't know what it is. Um, so anyway, I am empty on that and had to restock. And that's what I use a lot for my traditional foundation for my makeup clients. Okay, and then I also had been using this Bare Method Moisturizer. I think I talked about this brand in my last empties video, but I believe it was like maybe the cleanser or serum or something. Um, so this time it's the moisturizer. I've gone through all of it. And it's really good. It's... Um, clean and like vegan and all of that. A lot of the things I look for and it was a really good cream. I really like it. So yeah, I would definitely purchase it again. It was a really new brand. So they're very new on Amazon right now. And so I was one of the first like influencers that got to try out the brand. So they did gift it to me and I, I was very impressed. I also went through one little single pack of lashes for my clients. This was, I think Ardell um, Demi 120 Black um lashes this was mark anthony grow long super fast strength conditioner i got it i think in walmart beauty box too and i was not impressed at all actually it was yeah no i wasn't impressed at all and i didn't it's not really technically empty but i'm just i'm done with it so i just decided we're just gonna put it in the empties video and we're done okay and then the very last thing is this dome eyeliner. I talked about this in, the, in my video about being a judge for the Clean Beauty Awards. And I went through all of the makeup products um, that were submitted and my thoughts on them. And this was one of them. And I absolutely loved this eyeliner. In fact, it made my top three, like my top three favorite products of all that I judged. Because it was so pigmented and so gorgeous and perfect um, precision, precision, like just the best eyeliner I think I've ever tried in my life, but it only lasted for like a week, week and a half. It was insane how fast it went. So, so on one hand, yes, I'd repurchase, but on the other hand, I mean, it was gifted to me as a judge, but if I were to purchase on my own, on the other hand, they obviously don't give you that much. So like, do you get your money's worth in the amount? I don't know. So I think they need to provide a little bit more in this pen, but man, it was like the best, best, best eyeliner ever. Okay, so that's everything today, guys. Let me count everything up and see how many items that was real quick. Okay, so that was 32 items, guys. So 32 items I went through in two and a half months. That's really not a lot, is it? I felt like it was this huge amount of stuff, but really, when you, when you break that down, I'm like, 32 items, that's... I'm a minimalist, right? I'm a minimalist. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, I hope that that um, was fun for you to watch and enjoyed seeing what all I've been using and trying. Were there any favorites of yours? Anything you have tried yourself? Anything you um, agree with me is a don't buy again? What are your thoughts? Make sure you stick around and watch for more like this because I'll bring you more empties videos probably in the summer, like towards the end of summer. I'll let you know my summer empties videos. I've also got a declutter video every month that I'm bringing to you where um, we go through one kind of category each month. I just finished my skincare part two. Um, so the next one's probably going to be skincare part three, like maybe the body, um, body care category next, I believe. So if that kind of stuff interests you, make sure that you pop the subscribe, turn the notification bells to on, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.